Geography 575. For this project, we decided to build a web mobile app of the UW Arboretum. We were both excited about this project because what, part of what makes JavaScript such a widespread programming language is its ability to do web mobile, and we also wanted something that we could use ourselves. For this project, we collaborated with the staff of the UW Arboretum to get the most up-to-date trail information. Moreover, the Arboretum's current map is in Flash, so its being incompatible with web devices was another reason for choosing this project. Our goal was to create a simple design for people who are currently in the park when they are using it. This allowed us to focus on tasks such as finding trails, points of interest, and restrooms. We intentionally restricted operators mostly to zooming, panning, and retrieve. We are going to walk through how to make the website into a web mobile app. On our iOS simulator, we already have our website typed into Safari. However, the Safari browser itself takes up a lot of screen real estate on the top and bottom. If we tap on the boxed arrow, we get some options, one of which is to add to desktop. We added an Arboretum logo and programmed the mobile site to take up the entire screen. Now when we click on the web mobile app, we are able to create overlays for all the biological regions, such as coniferous, forests, deciduous, and prairies. Tapping on any one of these regions retrieves the name of the region itself. Some regions also include pictures. Most important of all are the trails, which are marked in gray, and have been updated to the, by the Arboretum staff in the last couple of weeks. On the bottom, we have a nav bar of some of the common things that people visiting the Arboretum may be looking for. The first is current location. The second shows users where to find benches. The third shows where restrooms are located. And the fourth shows points of interest. This concludes our demonstration of the UW Arboretum web mobile app.